Hello friends. Today, we explore one of the important benefit or usefulness of matrix method, namely how to use a matrix to solve linear equation, what is popularly known as the Cramer's rule for the solution of linear equation. Welcome to the video. The Cramer's rule provides one of the simplified way of solving any linear equation, provided these equations can be represented in the form of matrix algebra. So once linear equation can be represented in the form of matrix method, we can use the Cramer's rule. And the method was developed by Gabriel Cramer and he in fact insist or introduce a method of using the concept of determinant to solve the linear equation. So rather than representing the formula for Cramer's rule, we will just put an example and just to show how we can use the matrix method to solve or what is known as the Cramer's rule for solving the linear equation. Now let me have this equation like say 6x1 plus I have a linear equation 6x1 plus 5x2 equals 49 and the second equation 3x1 plus 4x2 equals say 32. So I have two linear equation. What is linear equation? Linear equation in the sense that the power of x is 1 and you can represent a linear equation in straight line. Now, this linear equation can be converted into a matrix form by using the method Ax equals b, where A is the matrix for coefficients. What are the coefficients? 6, 5, 3, 4. So I can write A as A equals 6, 5, 3, 4. X is the vector of unknowns which is X1 and X2 and B is the vector of constants which are 49 and 32. So this matrix, let me just remove this, <coughs> this matrix is A, this vector is X while this vector is P. So we represented the given system of linear equation in the form of matrix algebra. Once you can state the equation in the form of matrix method, we can easily use the concept of determinant to solve this equation. And the formula is provided by the Cramer's rule, which is we usually represent Cramer's rule as xi equals determinant of ai divided by determinant of a. While xi is the unknown variable, ai is the determinant of a special matrix. We are going to see what is a special matrix and determinant of a is the determinant of this coefficient matrix. So first, we will calculate the determinant of the a. That means it is possible you can construct a or you can use or we can utilize the simplified method of Cramer's rule for solving a linear equation provided this matrix of coefficient which we call the A should be a non-singular matrix. If it is a singular matrix that means singular matrix is determinant is 0. For singular matrices determinants are 0 and there may be a relationship between the rows and columns of the matrix. In such case, we cannot use the Cramer's rule. In, for non-singular matrices like here, we can easily use the Cramer's rule. So first, we will calculate the determinant A, which is here. AI is the determinant of a special matrix formed after deleting the elements corresponding to the ith variable of x. We are going to see. 
So first, to use, just let me just remove this equation since we already converted this equation into the matrix form. First, I will calculate the determinant of A. So determinant of A equals 6 into 4 is 36 minus 3 into 5 is 15. So determinant of A is 9. Now, now we need to form a new matrix for the solution of x1. I do have a choice <coughs> to select if I want to solve for the x1 for or for x2. For the solution of x1, the formula will be the formula will be x1 equals x1 equals determinant of a1 divided by determinant of a. So first we need to calculate the matrix or we need to construct the matrix of A1. How to construct the matrix A1? We will replace the element X1, which is 6 and 3. We will replace the column that represent the X1, which was 6 and 3. And in that place, we will present the vector of constants. So our matrix, our matrix A1 will be, our matrix A1 will be, in the place of 6, I have 49. In the place of 3, we have 32. <coughs> for that of x2 remains the same, 5 and 4. This is the matrix A1. So it's a special matrix. A special matrix constructor for solving for x1 by replacing the coefficients of x1 with the column vectors. We replace the elements corresponding to x1, which was 6 and 3, with the column vector, which was 49 and 32, and form a special matrix. Now we will calculate the determinant, the determinant of this A1. Determinant of A1 will be, will be 49 into 4 minus 32 into 5 which will be 196, 196 divided minus 160, which is equal to 36. So I got the determinant of A1 as 36. So for calculating X1, for calculating, let me just remove here. X1 means determinant of A1 divided by determinant of A, so x1 obviously means determinant of a1 is 36 divided by determinant of a which we already calculated it as 9. So x1 will be equal to 4. Similarly, similarly, we can construct, we can, so we have the solution, we have the solution of for x1, x1 is equal to 4. Now for x2, we can do the very same thing and we can construct we can construct an x for x2. The solution or the equation will be x2 equals determinant of a2 divided by determinant of a. For constructing the matrix a2, we will replace, we will replace the element corresponding to x2, 5, 4 with the column vectors, with the column vectors and form a new matrix called a2 a2 equals 6 in the place of 5 I have 49 3 will be same in the place of 4 I have 32 then we will calculate the determinant determinant of a2 will be 6 into 32 minus 3 into 49 so the solution will be 192 minus 192 minus 1, 192 minus 147 and the final solution will be equal to 45. So determinant of A2 is 45. So I can just now calculate, can now just calculate that of X2. So for x2, I have the solution, x2 equals determinant of a2 is 45 divided by determinant of a, which we already calculated it as 9. So solution will be 5. <coughs> so x1 equals 4, 
and x2 equals x2 equals 5. So this is our solution for the linear equation. This is our solution for the linear equation. So in the Cramer's rule, we use determinants. In fact, for a 2 by 2 matrix, for a two variable case, we have only x1 and x2 here. <coughs> for a two variable case, given two equations, we can construct a 2 by 2 matrix in the form of a x equals b. And first we will calculate determinant of a. Then subsequently construct two special matrices a1 and a2 and we'll subsequently calculate their determinant and we'll divide with original matrix, original determinant, which is determinant of A, and can, we can find out X1 as well as X2 for a two variable case. For a three variable case, we will have a three by three matrix. Three by three matrix, now we, can, we have to calculate four determinants. First, an initial determinant that is determinant of the coefficient matrix, then we will have three special matrices A1, A2 as well as A3. We will calculate those determinant and will divide with the determinant of A and can find out the values of the three unknowns for a three variable case. So this is one of the simplified way and extensively used way of solving linear equation using the method propagated by the Gabriel Kramer. We call it as a Kramer's rule of the solution for linear equation using the method of matrices as well as its byproduct, namely determinant. Hope that these methods are useful to you. In the next segment, hopefully, we will try to show how we can use the concept of inverse, which we have already derived during our last class, how we can use the method of inverse for solving this kind of a two variable or a three variable equations. So next segment will be solution of linear equation using the method of inverse. So until we meet this time, stay safe, happy learning, thank you.